Hi guys, it's me Teacher Goin. In our today's video, we will talk about solving number problems. Last time, we have uploaded a video with regard to solving word problems tungkol naman sa ratio and proportion. So without further ado, let's do this topic. Now throughout this video, we have three different problems that we need to solve and all of these are under number problems. So basically guys, when you're dealing with number problems, all you need to do is to understand first the problem, break down the problem, and you need to represent the missing number. So we have here in the first problem, when six times a number is increased by four, that is the first part, the result is 40. Find the number. So before we start finding the number, since we, we don't know what, is, what the number is, ang gagawin natin ngayon is we need to represent the number. We need to represent this number. So let x be equal to the number. In my case, Throughout the different videos that I am doing or that I'm creating with regard to word problems, I am always using the variable x. But if you are familiar with the other variable like letter n, you're free to use letter n. Now, again, we will let the number be equal to x. So, after representing the missing number by x, we need to use this part of the given problem it says here when six times a number is increased by four so what you need to do is you need to break down in your mind how will you represent this kind of phrase sabi dito, six times a number and remember yung number natin is represented by x so we will represent this part bilang this part ha, bilang 6x because that is 6 times a number and another thing here we have here is increased by increased by 4 so pag sinabi natin increase that is plus 4 okay and lastly sabi dito the result is 40 so we need to create a working equation in which our working equation will be 6x plus Four, because when 6 times a number this is 6 times a number increased by 4 the result or their sum is equal to 40 this is now our working equation and after that we will solve for the value of x I will do the shortcut of transpo transposition method we will transpose plus 4 to the other side of the equation and remember ha huh, when you are transposing a term, laging magbabago ang sign. Kung ito ay positive, magiging negative. So, our new equation is 6x is equal to 40. From positive 4, magiging negative 4 or minus 4. And we will simplify this part. We have 6x is equal to 36. And to finally solve for the value of x, you need to divide both sides of the equation by 6. Cancel, cancel. Your x is equal to 36 divided by 6. That will give you the answer of 6. This is now the value of x. And remember, in our main problem, we are asked to find the number. Number only. And your number natin is represented by x. Therefore, our answer here for this problem, the number is 6. So I hope guys na nakuha niyo yung mismong concept about this problem on how to represent the problem, on how to break down the problem, and on how to create a working equation. And then after that, you will solve for it. Now let us continue with item number 2. For item number 2, it says here, one number exceeds another number by 5. So important itong first part natin. And sabi sa next sentence, 
If the sum of two numbers is 39, find the smaller number. So in this problem, we're talking about two different numbers. So basically guys, kung papanoorin niyo mga videos ko about word problems, I'm always representing the smaller number or the smallest number by x. So we will do the representation. Let x be equal to the smaller number. And to represent the other number or the larger number, sabi kasi dito, one number exceeds another number by 5. So simply lang naman, to represent the, the larger number, that is simply x plus 5. So this is the larger number. And now, so we are done using this, uh, no, this part. Uh, and now, it says here, if the sum of two numbers is 39, if the sum, meaning we need to add these two representations, we have x plus x plus 5, their sum is equal to 39. And then after that, find the smaller number. Yun yung target natin. Find the smaller number. Smaller number. So, ito na yung mismo working equation natin. What we need to do is to combine like terms. Your x plus x is equal to 2x. So your new equation is 2x plus 5 is equal to 39. Same process from item number 1 or from prob problem number 1. We will transpose this term or the constant to the other side and it will become 2x is equal to 39 and plus 5 magiging minus 5. Then after that, simplify this part. This is 2x is equal to 34. And to finally solve for x, divide both sides by 2. Cancel, cancel. Your x is equal to 17. This is now the value of x. But remember, before going to conclusion that this is your answer, go back to the main problem. It says here, we're not yet done, eh? find the smaller number. And go, going here, sabi dito, Yung, yung smaller number natin is represented by x, meaning, ito ni mismo sagot natin. Pero, sometimes, your teacher will require you to answer it in se sentence form. So, this will be the smaller number, number is 17. Ito ni pinasagot natin, yung sentence na yan. Now, if you will be asked to find the larger number, all you need to do is to add, to use this, as you can see, that is x plus 5, that is simply 17 plus 5, and your larger number is 22, if kailangan lang. Okay? Now let's move on. For the last problem. For the last problem, we have here, the sum of the three consecutive integers is 306. Okay? 306. What is the largest integer? So here, since the problem natin a under ng consecutive integers, we need to let x be equal to uh, the first integer. And tatlo yan, di ba? Ang pattern when you're representing consecutive integers, that is x plus 1. Mag-add ka lang ng 1 sa bawat term. And the other is x plus 2. Yung x plus 1 natin, this is the second integer. Yung x plus 2 natin, this is the third integer. Now, as you can see, ang pinapanap na sa atin ay larger, largest integer. So, among these three integers, guys, this is your largest integer. Okay? Now, how are we going to solve this? Sabi dito, the sum. The sum of the three consecutive integers. Meaning, we will add 
all those three representations. We have x plus, ito naman, x plus 1, this one, that is x plus x plus 2, is equal to their sum which is 306. So 306. This is now our working equation. So what will happen is we will combine like terms. x plus x plus x, that will give you the answer of 3x. 1 plus 2 that will give you plus 3 is equal to 306. And same process, as you can see this is a constant, we will transpose this one to the other side of the equation and it will give you 3x is equal to 306 minus plus 3 magiging minus 3. And simplifying this, this is 3x is equal to 3 hundred three okay because this one is three hundred three and divide both sides by three your x is simply three hundred three divided by three that is one hundred one so ngayon, this is our va this, this is the value of x so we have here this representation if you will you will be asked for the different for the different integers, ito yung sagot natin dito. Yung first integer mo is 101, obviously. This is 102. And your largest integer is 103. So, in sentence form, na baka hingi ng teacher mo, the largest integer is 103. This is now our final answer. So now guys, I hope na nakuha niyo yung konsepto ng problems natin about um, number problems. So I hope na makonsider niyo mag-subscribe. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe but hit na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Marami marami salamat. Bye-bye.